so now I'm gonna be showing you guys how I actually take notes on my iPad. So the first thing I do is go into files and select what paper template I would like to use. So my favorite one is the A4 white squared paper Cornell with no summary. You'll see later how I use it. This is just my favorite one to use and it's very practical. And then I just share that to Notability. So in order to create a new file. So yeah, I just select that. And then I select create new notes and I put in the note title. So I'm just gonna select just like <laughs> notes plain and simple for this video. And then you can also select where you want to store it. So in which subject you want to store it under. So I just selected biology. I accidentally selected grade 11. I meant to select grade 12, but I fixed that later. So yeah, that's the first thing I do. And then I go into notability. I then actually select my note and start editing it. So the first thing I always do is I go to the page layout thing at the right, and then I just copy that page and then paste it over and over again. The reason I do this is just to have multiple of that one page. So I don't have to do that while I'm actually taking notes. So it won't waste any time. So I just do that right up front so I have multiple of the same page so yeah that's just the first thing I always do and I'm gonna be showing you guys how my basic layout is so I'm gonna just roughly tell you the first thing I do is set the title in the top so yeah I always do that and then also I write the definition in the sidebar so any definitions they might have to learn for that specific subject or in that unit I have there and then I also have all my content and summaries in the big box the title is usually the title of the unit not just like the notes so yeah that's usually the unit title that i wrote there and i always create my titles in procreate and i'll show you guys how to do that but this usually i do when i I'm like on a break or something not to waste time or anything okay so how i create my titles i use procreate procreate is absolutely my favorite app and then i just create a new canvas now this doesn't really matter what size it is i usually just go with square but it actually really does not matter and then in settings just to make sure i'm writing straight i select the drawing guide in canvas so that it has straight line grid so i can actually see if i'm writing straight or not so yeah, usually I do that and then I use the studio pen to write like the big part of the title. So this part is just about like DNA and then usually I'll make might be like an error or something if necessary and then write something else. So say this whole unit is about the functions of DNA, I can just select the menu fountain pen into download. I'll see if, it'll ha if I can find it somewhere in my files. Then I will put it in the description. Sorry if I can't, but yeah, so I use that brush usually to write any additional information. So yeah, I'm just here writing functions. Once I've finished creating that whole title, I then just import that into Notability. And then usually I crop it, otherwise it won't like fit into that small little area. So yeah, I crop it so much as I can to close to the edges of the words. So yeah, that's the one thing I have to do, otherwise it won't actually fit in that box up top. Next thing is just something that I like to do for fun. So I just select a highlighter and then just add some color to the edges of my title. So usually I'll just have like a highlighter strip at both sides of the word or just highlighting the entire title it really just depends on how i feel the day so yeah this is the basic unit that i have layout so the title with some highlighters that's basically it so i only write the title once and then after that i just copy and paste that every single time on each page so that's just something that i do now for the sidebar i am selecting this again the fountain pen that i downloaded on the internet somewhere um, and then i'm just writing out the word definitions in procreate i just i can't letter in notability i've tried so much but it's just very difficult so yeah i just write out the word definitions in procreate and then i save that to my camera roll and then we're going to import that into notability here you can see i just imported that image that i just created in procreate and put it in the sidebar for any definitions that i might have now for my actual note taking so 
With the pen size, usually I write with the second one and the third one I use for kind of headers or subtitles, things like that. So you're going to see now I'm going to select the third pen option in Procreate and I always use the solid one, not the one that's pressure sensitive. So that's just my preference for taking notes. And then the subtitles I usually write um, in the bolder pen so here you can see i'm just writing out like dna then what i also do is i always select the highlighter the greenish one that i created and i highlight that title in that greenish blue color let's get to the actual note taking now so i selected the smaller brush and now the first thing i might write down is a main point so after dna it might be one of the functions and that's just the main point then i usually have that down arrow as additional information about that main point and probably just the most important additional information and then if that information has any more things that need to come with it i then actually create a dot or like a circle and then i select like more information and then if i if i have even more i just have a dash and then yeah even more information that I might need in my notes so that's the basic like outline of it but not all of these are always necessary like the more info the even more info that's not always used but it is there if i need to have even more sub information in my notes so yeah that's just the, probably the most basic outline that i can give you of my notes and yeah the dna is like a subtitle or subheading to my unit i have my unit title subheading for the unit and then all the main points with all its sub points yeah <laughs> if you understand what i mean now for some other things that usually come up is multiple point questions or sub subheadings that you can call it also so usually i write these also in the bolder pen and then i select the same pink that i used in the unit title and i just draw a line from that and then usually the points or the bullets are right with that kind of circle point i don't really know what to call it and then i just have my information now another thing that i often do in note taking i don't know why this is just one of the things i find myself most likely doing so say i have a whole sentence and then one word we'll call that word x is something that is important i usually underline it and just draw an arrow from that word and then give it some information or a different information or maybe a definition that's not like a key definition i'll put in there but for key definitions i put it in the definition box at the left so basically i write down the term and then i have this one highlighter that's kind of the same shade of blue as the word definitions and then i just draw a little line from there to the end of that line or the box and then i draw that down arrow and then just write out the definition of the term and then i basically just do that throughout the entire thing so sometimes it's not even a term that's in my book it's just something that i have to remember or something i write that down again i, I always leave a line open between the terms so it doesn't seem too crowded i write the term and then down arrow and then again the definition of whichever term i am writing so yeah that's the basic outline of the definitions it's not really complicated at all another thing i want to go over is if i have a diagram in my notes usually let's just say this black box is a diagram or an image then usually what i do with that is i just draw like a little line from my diagram to any Part of my notes and then i'll just add like a caption to it so that's something that i just always do with any pictures that i have if it needs a caption i'll usually just draw a line from my image so here we can go and look at actual notes that i have for biology so at the top left you'll see i have the unit number so all these notes are in afrikaans so please don't mind that that's just the, my language so yeah we have the unit number and then we have the main title of my unit that I have at the top, like I showed you guys, that I create in Procreate. So that's just the main title of the entire unit. Then you'll see we have in the blue highlighted, we have the title of my entire notes. So that's just that. And then we have a subheading, that pinkish kind of color, the one with the pink line next to it. That's the subtitle. And then we all have, have all the additional information. So here you can see I always use an arrow for the main info. And then I added like more dots or dashes for sub info. So like I showed you guys earlier, 
I just had a different kind of system back then, but it's basically the same thing. Then we have the definitions here and then just a diagram. I actually created this diagram in Procreate. Um, sometimes I do that, not all the time, but if I'm feeling motivated, I'll do that like in a break or something. And then here you can see some captions that I added. Another fun thing I like to do is just play around with textiles. So here is just an additional information that I wrote. And then I just copied that and pasted it again just with another color and then it just created this cool 3d effect so sometimes i like to do that as well here is another example of a few notes this is more familiar now to the ones that i showed you guys so then i have here i have some additional boxes some of these images in here are scanned now i'm going to show you guys some things that i do in good notes take notes because i have one class that i take notes in good notes for um i don't really have a reason for it i just do i think it was around the time that i was testing out good notes so that's how i ended up actually taking notes in here so um here you can see this is the layout so the paper i use for this is good notes is paper but it's in the a3 size so i can fit a lot of information on one page since this kind of subject it's consumer studies it has a lot of content heavy information i guess so yeah here you can just see a bit of an outline of my notes here is something i did for fun and just a fun diagram that i added for some color and then you can just see some more writing i did scan a few images in here as well and here you can just see a lot more titles and writing and titles and writing so yeah this is an example of what my notes look like in good notes i don't write like like right in here a lot but i have it then also we're gonna go back into notability you'll see my it i have some notes here that i've done in this term so far so i've had a few boxes i always write on black paper for it i don't know why i just prefer it um writing on something else i draw a lot of diagrams and things in it and i also sometimes type things in it so that also works really great so yeah that's this is how my it notes look like sometimes and then something else that we also have is math now math is probably the class i write most notes in it may not look that much but i have math class every morning i have my notebook on the one side and then all my notes on the other side so this is what that looks like i just find notability very excellent for taking my notes i've tried good notes it just isn't my favorite for this type of note taking that i do in class i prefer notability it's just much faster in certain areas that i use a lot so yeah this is just something i do here is an example of a summary page of information so it's basically a whole unit summed on into one like document so one page with all the things that I need to actually know for that unit. So that's just another thing that I often do on here in Notability. So yeah, that's basically all the notes that I actually have to show you guys to give you guys a more of an in-depth see of how I actually take notes on my iPad. So yeah, that's how I take notes on my iPad. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and maybe found it interesting and helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below letting me know what your thoughts are on this type of note-taking style or share some of your note-taking styles and tips for us. Now, I'm actually pretty new at taking notes on iPads, so I'm not great. This is just my first try at it, so don't hate me if I'm doing everything wrong. But yeah, this is just my t type of thing that I do throughout the day. Um, it's just something I like to do. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other tech-related videos and click on my video to my previously uploaded video. Love you guys so much. Be weird and be proud of it. Bye.